Hey everyone, it's Miss Brit 1986. It's been a long time since I have done a video. Um, I have been really busy. Um, if you watched the last video, you know I've been working out. Um, I've lost 17 pounds so far. I've got about exactly 10 more pounds to go until I'm pretty much back to my regular weight. Um, I am doing this video because I get a ton of questions about my hair regimen. Um, I'm asked kind of um, kind of often when I meet up with people that I maybe haven't seen in a long time and they kind of check my hair out and um, they want to know like what I'm doing, um, what my routine is. So I'm basically going to go over that. Um, currently I have my hair in the style of choice. It's a bun. Can you see it? Ah. Maybe I'll turn around. So that's my bun. Um, I, uh, it's the easiest bun ever in the world and it looks reasonable. Um, I take my hair, put it in a ponytail, twist it as in twist like this into the twist like your parents used to put your hair in. And then I take that twist and I wrap it in a circle and I pin the bottom underneath and I put two elastics over it and that is my bun and it stays pretty well. Um, so basically going to the gym and everything, um, I am not a co-washer. My hair is very, very thick and my hair is very um, hard to deal with pretty much after I get to the fourth week, um, four weeks after my relaxer, it's like my hair says like and it doesn't like a lot of manipulation so um, I have to be very gentle with it and this is just the easiest way for me to wear it um, to work or you know it's just the most presentable way um, you can tell that I'm not one of those people who is really finicky about my bun and my ponytail my edges are not gelled down like crazy that's just not how I roll um, moving along, the, what I wash my hair with, um, uh, I wash my hair, uh, every five to seven days, usually, usually seven days, unless I, my hair is just crazy itchy. I let my hair tell me when it needs to be washed and when my scalp starts itching and being gross, usually after the sixth or seventh day, it's like, okay, I need to wash my hair. Um, Sometimes, like I said, after the gym, sweat and it gets gross in five days. Um, but I wash with a sulfate-free shampoo. It's Elastic QP Cream Conditioning Shampoo. And it says for dry, damaged hair, adds maximum moisture, and um, has absolutely no sulfates. I don't know what the foaming agent is in here. It really doesn't foam up that much. It foams up for like a second. I can't find any sulfate in here, like any, uh, nothing. So, um, it's got coconut oil, coconut oil in there, avocado oil and other good stuff. Um, when I wash my hair, I tend to, I rinse it real good. And then I, um, focus on the scalp. I put it all over the scalp and, um, then I work it through my hair rinse it, wash my scalp again, and then add a little bit more shampoo to my hair and focus on that. Um, I really love this stuff because it doesn't make your hair feel stripped. The only place that I've been able to find this is at um, my local beauty supply store. Um, they have something, and I've not tried it. If you can't find this, I would tell you to check out um, at Sally's the Elastic QP Shampoo for Relaxed Hair. It has a light sulfate in it, but if you're used to heavy sulfate, that may be a step up for you, or if your hair is a little oilier than mine. My hair is quite dry, so um, that's my shampoo of choice. And this is my new conditioning regimen. I finally found conditioners that work for my hair that do not make my hair feel like straw. So what I've started doing, and I know this is really weird, but lately I've been doing this and it's working for me, is I know I look really tired, right? I'm sleepy. And you can see my nose ring in this video. It's glistening. 
You can never see it in any other ones. Um, this I got from my local beauty supply store. It's called Lolly. It's garlic and aloe cream rinse conditioner. Stops excessive hair loss. Now, I don't have excessive hair loss, but I do like to keep my scalp healthy. Um, and I've heard that garlic is really good for it. Um, I've also heard that it keeps your hair from shedding. Um, my hair sheds a lot. Um, when I wash and, and, you know, condition and detangle. Um, and when I say shed, I mean that like the bulb, like the long hairs are coming out. I'm not talking about breakage. My hair sheds. Um, so I take this and I rub it on my scalp mostly. And then I put it through my hair and this has, um, castor oil, lanolin, pure garlic oil, aloe, protein. Those are some of the ingredients. So I really like this because it kind of gives me a good dose of protein and I think it makes for a healthy scalp. I usually leave this on, um, just for, I just kind of massage it in my scalp for about five minutes and then rinse it out. And then after that I do, and this is a big bottle. Sally Salon Care Conditioner Honey and Almond. Now, a lot of people do not like this product. You may look at it and be like, this crap is cheap. Now it is cheap. For this big gallon, bigger than my head, for this big gallon bottle, it was like, I got it on sale for like five something, six dollars at the most. This thing has lasted me. I don't even think it's... It might be halfway gone. But, um... You can only get this at Sally's. It's usually um, $8 and something cents, which sounds kind of pricey, but, like I said, huge bottle. Huge. Um... Some of the ingredients are, um... Honey, sweet almond oil, hydrolyzed keratin... Um, propylene glycol um, and I love this this is a conditioner that it's very rare that I don't deep condition but I can just put this conditioner in my hair and I'll kind of let it sit and I might leave my hair in a shower cap and walk around and clean or something and then what I'll do is just start to detangle my hair very gently with the conditioner still in it over the sink and rinse my hair it leaves it soft and manageable every time I love this stuff excuse me um I do not wash my hair in the shower I tried to wash my hair in the shower it was a nightmare a tangled mess and I got soap in my eye and it was just bad for me so more power to the girls who can wash in the shower it is not for Brittany um I tried it in braids and I tried it just regularly it doesn't I I just get under the sink um get under the sink and just do my thing and try not to tangle my hair very much um so yeah I'm not going to show you any other conditioners that I have because of course as women we have like 50 conditioners I have narrowed my routine down to these conditioners and they work for me um what I tend to do also with the conditioner is I take this is like an this is a ricotta cheese. Obviously, there's no ricotta in here. I take the conditioner, I put it in there, and then I mix like um, a couple tablespoons of coconut oil. And this is perfect. Love it, love it, love it. If you need, um, if you have a conditioner that you may be like, oh, this conditioner doesn't work, it's crap, put some, put a, put a tablespoon of olive oil or coconut oil in your conditioner and see if it doesn't, you know, kick it up, jazz it up. Because for me, the combination of the, that conditioner, the sweet almond oil, and the coconut oil just does wonders for my hair. It's awesome. And did I mention, I'm unscrewing the top. It smells so good. I love it. That's just me, though. If you don't like the smell of sweet almond oil, you may not like that. They have a couple other varieties um, that I personally, I wouldn't buy um, just because, but I mean, everyone's different. Um, after 
conditioning my hair. I um, rinse it in cool water. <clears throat> and I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I have given up detangling my hair wet. I can't do it. Um, my hair tangles real easily. Um, and I think what it is, is it's the shed hair. Like, I, I try to comb my hair and, like, get the shed hair out before, but my hair just tangles up, like, every time. Not crazy bad, but it's just, like, I'm not one of those people who can just wash my hair, condition it, and just start comb. I can't do that. That's one of the reasons why I don't, like, um, like, wrap my hair, like, wet wrap it. It's just too much. By the time I get it detangled, it's, like, halfway dry. So, um, I've given up detangling it wet. And what I do is I wait until it's pretty much dry. Like I towel blot it and then I just wait until it's about at least halfway to three quarters of the way dry. And then I start detangling it very slowly in four sections um, from the bottom to the top. Um, being very, very careful. Um, being very mindful of breakage. Um, what I recently, like I said, I have 10 million products. What I'm recently doing is spraying a leave-in con um honestly i didn't even use a leave-in conditioner last time this stuff the cantu shea butter leave-in conditioning repair cream this is my best friend um i tried it when i was doing bantu knots and it made my hair hard and i just felt like i didn't really give the product a chance and i'm so glad that i gave it a try again because it's it's perfect like i just when i rinse my conditioner out i take some of that focus on the ends you know, put it all throughout my hair and then I'll put like some coconut oil, um, to seal it. And then I'll just start detangling and it has really, really worked wonders for me. Wonders. Um, like I said, typically, um, I really have been on a no heat. I know when my hair was shorter, like when it was kind of like kind of collarbone shoulder lengthish, I was flat ironing it every other week and going to the gym and doing different stuff and I just don't have the time like I haven't even been to the beauty salon like lately um I went a couple weeks ago because I had a family reunion but I don't even what's the point of going to the beauty salon and getting your hair straightened when you're just going to sweat it out of the gym so this is my style of choice 100% no heat um people wonder about keeping your hair in a ponytail or a bun um there's definitely um there's definitely benefits to keeping your hair in a bun. You want to make sure that your bun is not tight. Like, you should not be getting a headache when you have your hair in a ponytail. I am definitely, as you can see, I'm not into slicking my hair back within an inch of its life. That's just not me. Um, I don't care what anyone thinks. I don't, I, like, I don't care. I don't care if my edges are not flat to my head. I just don't care. This is my hair. This is my new growth. If you don't like it, you know find somebody else to bother that's how I feel about it <laughs> but um you know like I said make sure that you don't put your hair in a tight bun and try to alternate like sometimes I'll make the bun like a little higher up I'll switch it around like you have to switch it around and I tend to take my buns out at night just because you can let your hair rest a little um I'm very low manipulation when it comes to combing my hair I comb my hair very gently. If you watched me comb my hair, you would be like, you would think I had like a weave in and I was scared I was going to like rip a track out because I don't, I'm very like with the comb. And, um, I could, I guess I could take my hair out and show you guys what's been going on with it. See, this is, <laughs> this is what I do. I take it. So, this is what it looks like when I take it out. 
not too bad. It actually still smells fresh. Surprisingly. Um, I'm one of those people who my hair shrinks, shrinks, shrinks. You look at my hair and you're like, oh, I am. Um, I know I posted a video of where like when I hit APL, I recently got my hair trimmed, like majorly trimmed, um, majorly trimmed. And it's pretty, it was like just under APL, but it was all one length, like pretty much like it's still in a V kind of, but it's much more, it's more even and it, you know, the ends just look b nicer and I was scared, but I, I said, you know what, this hair journey, like, I feel like I've mastered my hair at this length. I'm kind of nervous about getting to BSL because I'm like, it's already like work to do my hair. But I thank God for it, though. I thank God every day. Um, but I'm about, I'm hoping by, um, in about three months by Christmas, because I'm about five weeks post-relaxer this weekend. So I think that um, by Christmas time, I should be at bra strap length. And at that time, or maybe January, depending on how long it takes me to get there, I will um, post a video showing you guys my progress and hopefully by that time I will be at my back to my normal weight or maybe even smaller so we shall see um sorry for rambling and sorry if I'm acting kind of weird because I'm awfully tired um but I want to thank you guys for watching and have a good day